Turning off a main road in no man's land, up a dusty track to Candia and Sonica, the last two villages south of Begonio, left in the hands of the Bosnian crowds. Up to 10,000 people and their possessions are surrounded here by the forces of the mainly Muslim Bosnian army. The body of an old man lies in the river. A soldier shot by a sniper is brought into the local defense headquarters. Women and children are loaded onto trucks and trailers, desperate to get out. These were from many villages around. They left, they said, because they were ordered to leave. They watched as Muslims looted their homes and took everything they had. Who wouldn't cry after what's been done to us? Everyone knows what's happened to the Muslims. No one knows about us. The youngest refugee is just 15 days old. British troops are also in the village, bearing a message from the Bosnian Army High Command that the Croats are not in danger and can safely return to their homes. In the town of Bogonio, the message is repeated by the Bosnian commander, who has a reputation for fair dealing. We cannot accept uh, ethnical cleansing for any side, and we don't want to do that. Uh, that's why uh, we don't want to allow the ethnical cleansing of Croat nationality from Bugojno region. But it's happening, or more to the point, the Croats believe that it's happening. <laughs> my children are left behind, she said, oh my God. But it was too late to find them, for the trucks were already on the move, out of this village and across the river, past the next village with its devastated houses. It was a scene of anarchy, despair and confusion. <laughs> You can't get through, he said. The road is blocked. The people were ordered off the trucks and to leave their possessions behind, since they would not be able to take them, except the few who travelled on tractor trailers. The journey was across no man's land to the Serb front lines. These people would rather trust their old enemy, the Serbs, than their new enemy, the Muslims. She has lost her husband and her son, and is taking her daughter on a trek into the unknown. The irony of it is, there is no corner of Bosnia where Muslims and Croats used to live together in greater harmony than here. Now, they don't trust each other, still less do they trust the processes of Geneva. Martin Bell, BBC News, near Bogonia, Bosnia.